And last but not least, we have a social media movement to depower the uh, internet influence of celebrities who are indulging in their opulence a little too much in the wake of world travesties. I think that's a pretty good way to sum up what this is about. Mm -hmm. So uh, this whole movement here, this blackout 2024 movement, I don't know if anyone's heard of this, but uh, this thing came in the wake of the Met Gala event. Um, now, this this Met Gala thing has always been a ridiculous, absurd, clownish, cartoonish um, joke of an event where people just get together and just overindulge in ridiculousness um it's an offshoot of holly weird world i don't even know what the purpose of this event is yeah. other than to, other than to increase people's clout and 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 increase the mind control that they get to put out into the world via the internet but it looks like there is a movement to uh diminish the impact of these individuals because they are parading around at events like this you know, indulging in all of this stuff while there's real stuff going on out here in the world. Uh, in particular, the real world events taking place with this have to do with the uh, Israel-Palestine conflict. We tend to stay away from those types of topics in terms of the, the issues at hand on this channel because I don't want any of our videos on this channel to be uh, deprioritized. And for anyone who does not know, the algorithm will censor content that the AI deems to be controversial. So if you get too deep into politics, issues like this, um, you know, stuff like that, uh, the algorithm, even though you don't break any community guidelines or you don't break any rules, YouTube will internally flag your video so that it just doesn't get served up on the algorithm and no one ends up seeing it. So for anyone out there who does not know that these things do happen, they do, uh, which is why we stay away from these types of comment, uh, from these types of topics on this channel. But this is kind of a more social media celebrity oriented aspect of Correct. this particular story so this says block block out 2024 social media users stage digital guillotine to protest celebrities who remain silent about palestine angry fans want to hit the stars where it hurts as npr reports many social media users enraged at the opulence displayed during this year's 2024 met gala on monday are intensifying efforts to pressure celebrities to speak out about the ongoing crisis in gaza the online protest follows in-person protests that took place outside of the event earlier this week according to the associated press on the night of the annual fashion soiree israeli military forces announced their decision to invade rafah where more than a million Palestinian refugees are currently living after being displaced from their homes since October 7th. This includes more than 600,000 children. This stark contrast motivated social media users to take up hashtags such as celebrity block list on TikTok, attempting to highlight the disparity between the biggest names in entertainment, flaunting their wealth at the Met Gala while maintaining a dystopian-like silence on real world suffering. Celebrities targeted on the visual lists, on the viral rather, celebrities targeted on the viral list include those who attended the event, such as Zendaya, Cardi B, Nicki Minaj, Kylie Jenner, and others. Uh, so here's one of those uh, tweets uh, on X or Twitter, if you still call it that. Me waking up to hearing Kim K lost over 3 million followers in the last 24 hours and that there's live stream watch parties showing these big celebrities lose followers as we speak. Boy, this morning's coffee tastes especially good. Uh, accounts such as Blockout 2020... Accounts such as Blockout.2024 on Instagram are devoted to listing high-profile celebrities they believe haven't adequately addressed the issue. In the two days since the account was created, it has already garnered over 100,000 followers at the time of this writing. The account has been targeting creators, major brands, and musicians alike. It's time for the people to conduct what I want to call a digital guillotine, a digitine, if you will. TikTok creator Ray said on Thursday, who posts under the handle Lady from the Outside, it's time to block all the celebrities, influencers, and wealthy socialites who are not using their resources to help those in dire need. 
we gave them their platforms. It's time to take it back, take our views away, our likes, our comments, our money by blocking them on all social media and digital platforms. She continued. Ray's first suggestion for the Digiteen was TikTok star Haley Khalil, also known as Haley Bailey. Uh, Khalil faced criticism online for sharing her Met Gala look while mouthing along to a trending sound of Kirsten Dunst in 2006's Marie Antoinette saying, let them eat cake. Uh, and so it goes on to say that this TikToker chick, this Khalil person, I don't know who these people are. Mm -hmm. uh, my nephew may know who this sounds like some Gen X person. This sounds like some <laughs> Gen Z stuff. So my nephew may know who that is. <clears throat> Uh, but it went on to talk about how she apologized because she didn't know that it would come off as offensive, blah, blah, blah. Mm. But, yeah, there seems to be a concerted effort nowadays on the Internet to depower some of these uh, celebrities and influencers who have a sizable platform on the Internet, a platform that influences a lot of what goes on in American culture and economics because they don't use their platform to speak up on other real world issues going on in the world. So what do you make of this uh, block out movement? Uh, do you think it makes sense? Are you in favor of it? Uh, or do you think some of it is a bit misguided? Uh, I'm in favor of it. I still don't know where it's going to go, but I, the initial premise of canceling celebrities and they ain't even have to do nothing. Yeah. I'm, I'm for that. Um, <laughs> And and it's not directly uh, correlated to the conflict going on overseas. <clears throat> um, it's, I mean, people can use this as the reason why they should do it, and I'm I'm not against that. But you know, there were other atrocities that went on. There's other atrocities that are going on, and then you know, and that went on in the past that they were always quiet about. So this needs to be a thing. Uh, so I'm I'm in favor of now. So the whole premise behind it, and it uh, apparently is like once you block them, even though you don't follow them and you block them, it they get money still because of the potential people they can reach or some type of ad uh, incentive that these people get. So just by blocking them, it kind of blocks that channel. And then, you know, people took it to other things and say, hey, let's block these corporations. You know, they say, hey, man. Uh, Juneteenth and Pride Month's coming up. It's going to be a lot of pandering from these corporations. So when they come up and start pandering and they never gave to either one of these communities, I think you guys know what to do. And so people are taking it to another level, which I'm here for as well. <clears throat> uh, just uh, a few topics ago, a few weeks ago, a couple weeks ago, we were talking about, um, you know, Trump and his alternative ways. And I mentioned that, you know, people, you know, vote every day with their actions, uh, what they go purchase or whatever. Uh, I didn't equate celebrities in that bunch or celebrity worship, but that needs to go. And we've talked about celebrity worship here, too. Yep. So kind of like the Kendrick uh, beef or whatever, I feel like a paradigm shift is happening socially, but I think it's happening in a, in a best, better direction. Uh, to where people, so it may be a little bit misguided right now because there's really no leader. There's all kinds of people just coming out and saying things. Hey, block this, block this. Hey, I don't like that person. Block that person. So it's getting kind. Of, you're seeing how things would work if people were actually living in a, uh, what do you call that, um, an anarchy type of situation where there's no government. People all of all of a sudden somebody wants to proclaim, proclaim themselves the leader. They get a whole bunch of followers, and then they, then another person comes and say, "Hey, this person is not righteous. Block them." And then everybody's trying to go block this person. It's like, whoa, it's it's done turn crazy. You know, now yeah. regular people getting blocked. So, yeah. uh, but I still think that the whole premise of hey, look at those clowns up there that. We've been worshiping. And by the way, when we cover these celebrity topics, because one could say that, hey, man, you guys are talking about celebrities every day. And that is true. But it's also uh, we're bringing up these things, not to gossip, but to bring uh, an enlightening perspective on whatever we may be talking about to drive home a deeper point than uh, Chris Pratt, you know, wanting Usher to smash his wife. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we were talking we were talking about family dynamics and relationship dynamics in that we were going deep so whenever we do bring up these topics it's to dig deeper 
And uh, but worship was never part of it. So uh, we've always been against uh, celebrity worship. And I think uh, that this trend is helping reverse a little bit of that where this trend came from, per se. Now, they say where it comes from and all. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm skeptical of a lot of things. So I always watch what one what, what one eye and I keep the other eye looking at the other side. You know, I'm always being observant. So as of now, as it stands, I'm in favor of this. Uh, we'll see how this goes, but I'm just in favor of the premise of stopping celebrity worship culture. So what are your thoughts on this one, uh, sir? Do you uh, are you in favor of the celebrity blockout or you think that this is a, a little misguided? Yeah, um I'm in favor of it. Uh, I don't. The only thing that I don't like is I've never been the biggest fan of making influential people obligated to speak up on on issues, mm -hmm. because if it's not an, not every issue speaks to every person. That's correct. So I don't think a person should be obligated to speak on issues as important or consequential as they may be. Everybody shouldn't be obligated to speak on every issue just because they're in the limelight. Correct. I don't think that that's okay. Like, if something doesn't impact you, you shouldn't be obligated to speak on that. So, from that, because this kind of seems like all celebrities should be speaking up for this thing. Correct. And it's like, well, if it doesn't really, I get it because it is a big deal, but it's like not everyone is impacted by these things in the same way. So, Unless someone is openly saying, I like this and I like that, at which point you'd have to clean that up. I don't think it's cool to just mandate that because you have a big platform, you're obligated to speak up on stuff. Because if you're not, that. if you're not knowledgeable, if you don't know the history of it, you know, if you don't have that embedded education and furthermore, and most importantly, if you truly aren't impassioned to speak on it, you should keep quiet. And just keep living your life. You shouldn't be forced to speak up on that. Agreed. So that's the only aspect of this that I kind of disagree with because it kind of makes it seem as though they should all be obligated to talk about it. I agree. But the part about this that I do agree with overall, and it's right in line with what you said, celebrity hero worship is very problematic. Uh, we speak on this channel a lot about consumerism, um, corporations and the influence that they have on a lot of things that people don't even know about um mind control when it comes to things like entertainment music movies different messages that get put out on social media even political agendas things that get put into school systems and things like that a lot of these things are often spearheaded by an agent and those agents are often people in the limelight like celebrities who are chosen to 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 put words to these various things, not because they believe in them, but because the individuals who want to put them out know that if we get this celebrity to talk about this, a lot of people are just going to do what we want because they love this celebrity. Mm -hmm. And that's the thing that mm -hmm. needs to get dialed back, the the, the celebrity hero worship stuff. Um, Chappelle talked about celebrity hero worship 20 years ago. You know, when he did his stand up uh, for what it's worth back in 2004, he talked about this. And back then there was no Facebook. You know, I think there was just MySpace at the time. Facebook mm. was pretty much still being invented in a garage. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he talked about this and he was talking about it with like the Dixie chicks when it comes mm. to like George Bush and the Iraq war and stuff. That was 20 mm. years ago. And it has gotten progressively more pervasive over time mm. to where people really have lost the art of thinking for themselves and making their own independent decisions. It's all based upon what these idiots in Hollywood have to say about stuff. And they don't deserve to have that much power. So it does need to be dialed back because they aren't influencers for real. Like they shouldn't influence your decision making. Most of them aren't knowledgeable on the stuff that they speak on. They're just paid to speak on them. And the platforms that they have are only the platforms that they have because we, the people, have afforded them those platforms because we give them that authority. Why should I follow you? I don't even follow Instagram models on social media. I'm definitely not following a celebrity person. Like, I, as a man, believe that I should not give a random woman the the the, the, the power of my like and my follow and my comment just because she's a woman. 
So if I think on a small scale like that, I'm definitely going to be able to extrapolate that to a larger level to say I'm not going to give that same level of authority to some celebrity person who don't know shit. They just act and can sing good and that's it. Just like Chappelle said, why do you care so much what the Dixie Chicks say? It's not like they're political scientists. They just bitches that can sing good. <laughs> And that's his quote. I'm not saying that. That was I his know, quote I know. From the, from the quote from the show. But like, why do you care so much what these people have to say about stuff? So it's like we want them like so this movement is in reaction to their reluctance overall to speak up about this conflict. But your desire for them to speak up on this conflict ironically speaks to the level of authority that we've given them to speak up on issues. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, so really, it's a situation where they don't need to have. We should not care what they have to say about that situation, because who are they? Right. They don't work in politics. They're not working in government. They don't work in foreign policy. They don't have boots on the ground fixing this stuff. Now, you do have some of them who are donating money to provide food and economic aid and medical supplies. I can commend that. Most of them don't know what the hell they, they, why should we care what their opinion? Why do I care what right. Zendaya's opinion on that conflict is? Why should I care? And why should anyone care what her opinion is? You shouldn't. She's no different than you. She just makes movies. So that's the overall point about this is dialing back this celebrity worship stuff. It's corrosive. Uh, and it it, it, it it seriously needs to go away. It really does need to stop. Their opinion shouldn't matter. It doesn't matter. OK, if they want to donate stuff and then talk about how they donate, fine. But their opinion on it needs to not be something that matters because because what do they it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't. It shouldn't. Unless you are a direct member of that community, your opinion shouldn't matter. So if you're if you're if you're a holly weird person, but you're a part of those communities, either one and you have an opinion because, you know, because of your family history and your and your and your generational history, then fine. Maybe you have a leg to stand on when it comes to speaking on stuff. But any old celebrity speaking on this, I don't give a damn what y'all got to say. And neither should everybody else. So if the block if this blockout movement creates a way for society at large to understand that these that these individuals opinions shouldn't matter and therefore you don't need to consume what they have to say about anything in your life on a daily basis thus minimizing their impact then that's what i think is the best thing that can come from all of that not necessarily whatever it is that they do or do not have to say about that particular issue no, I agree. That that's the part about it that I feel like is a little bullying. It's a little bullyish uh, when it comes to this, because um, it's it's only about that. So it's like it, you 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 need to talk about it. And their their stance is that you got enough followers, you got enough whatever to have an impact on, you know, educating people on it or just bringing eyes to it or whatever. Instead of, you know. Uh, your latest thing from Louis Vuitton. And um, I agree with you in a sense that I don't want to hear from them. I don't want to hear from an uninformed celebrity making some shallow post about something that they don't even know about. I think the thing that <clears throat> what people need to evaluate in this is that there's, to me, there's two clear sides to looking at the world geopolitically and seeing what's happening in the landscape and you know if you just look at uh whatever scenario objectively you should be able to pick out what side you stand on and um if whatever celebrity or whatever notable person that's potentially on the chopping block just talks about anything that does convict them i think that they would be spared you know, but then you'll still get the fanatics that go, okay, you talking about what's going on in Nicaragua, but why aren't you talking about what's going on? You know, and then there's going to be people that block them for that. And that's the part about this, that, that people are just getting a little too eager with this. You know, people need to put their thinking caps on. But when you're dealing with the masses, people just be going with things. Mm -hmm. 
So um, I do like the initial action of, hey, let's boycott. Hey, let's let's remove our attention from this stuff. Like, yeah. And, you know, part of that is your Netflix. You know, part of that is your other things. And so it's like, you know, take it all the way there. What are you, you going to stop here? And um, so we'll see how this plays out. Um, last thing I'll say, the reason why I said I'm not too sure where all this is coming from, because I know where it's coming from. But I'm still reserving to watch this in the long run because part a new theory I'm developing is that these corporations are done with paying celebrities. So they're done with the inflated stars, the Kardashians, the um, the Jenners, the the Rocks, the this, <laughs> the that. Like they're done with these people, uh, the Diddies, the Drakes. Like they're done with paying these people. And a lot of people are being dragged down right now. Not the people who own them, just the talent. And I'm noticing a trend where they're being liquidated. And uh, this particular instance is looking like a liquidation of stuff if it continues. So I'll still be monitoring this to see where this comes from. Or, I mean, where it goes. Um, but it looks, it looks like, um, <laughs> I don't know, but I'll tell you this, I'll tell you one thing, much like how the Kendrick thing we were talking about earlier, I, I think that there's a, I look at things as principalities and one thing versus another thing. And if people are on the side of humanity and, um, you know, uh, non-war crimes and, just regular stuff, you know, then people should be siding with, um, yeah, not supporting that. And if anybody posts like that, talk like that, then they should be absolved from all of these block lists. And the only people that should be blocked are the clear and obvious mind controllers. And so that's the people that are basically soulless avatars running around saying, wear this, buy this, use this. Those people can get blocked. <laughs> so I don't care what they have. like. Those are the people I really don't care. I have to say. So, but yeah, man. So hopefully there's more structure to this. But I'm 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 excited for the initial, uh, you know, um, grassroots. Hopefully, um, you know, movement of this, and hopefully we can take this to brands and corporations next. Uh, just so and like, oh, one more thing. And I think this a lot of this also has to talk, to do with. Uh, the re, you know, people are reaching their breaking points financially and they've just had enough of these celebrities just, you know, doing cartwheels on them with $75,000 Met Gala tickets and walking around with a, a, a ice, a literal block of ice called a purse that costs like 30 racks. And so people are looking at this whole thing and go, you know what, you guys can all go to hell. So I think it's a perfect storm of all of this stuff, to be honest. So yeah, we'll see how it pans out, but I'm initially in favor of it. Uh, I blocked quite a few people myself. It's exhilarating. Uh, but don't block us here at the Contras Pro. <laughs> All right, we're here every Tuesday night going live, man, going hammer too, by the way. So hit the like and subscribe while you're at it. Yeah, I, 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 I am in favor of celebrities not being paid attention to. Yeah. So obviously, if you uh, unfollowing them slash blocking them, is a, an act of not paying attention to them. So therefore, I'm in favor of it. I'm just overall a fan of them not being paid attention to because why does their it their opinion inherently does not matter. It does not. Unless they come from the communities being affected by whatever topic that they're talking on, their opinion does not matter. And so the, the forcefulness with which Troll World is trying to impose this idea that you just got to speak up on stuff I don't like that because you're actually fanning the flames of celebrity hero <laughs> worship when you do that, because you're making, you're creating a situation in which them needing to speak up is due to the fact that their words carry such weight and their words don't carry that much weight or rather they shouldn't. That's so true. you need to stop fanning the flames of this stuff. So this, this movement based upon what I'm seeing here isn't about lessening celebrity hero worship. It's actually about amplifying it. But there's a penalty if you don't uh, acquiesce, mm -hmm. which is you'll get blocked. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. And my thing is they should get blocked, not because they aren't acquiescing to your demands, but because their opinions don't matter. So you should Mm -hmm. unfollow them, block them, do whatever you got to do. Everybody. I don't follow a single one of these people because who the hell cares? Exactly. Not, not there's there's some that I follow, but that's because they a one. They're authentic. They're not walking billboards. Correct. Um, and and if if we want to create a standard for you know people needing to speak up on things that matter, then don't cherry pick the issues they need to speak up on. Right. That pisses me off too. Right. Because. Right. There's all kinds of stuff going on out there. Just make it a standard across the board. People need to regularly speak up on inequities because there's stuff going on everywhere. But right now, it seems like there are certain things being cherry picked in terms of what people need to speak up on. Because I think it's egregious that not enough of these people. What did you how much did you say those tickets cost? Seventy five thousand. Seventy. Okay, so that's atrocious. So I think it's egregious that you got these people wearing these outfits that cost God knows how much, mm-hmm. and and are and are going to an event that's seventy five thousand dollars a ticket mm-hmm. when the t- cost of that ticket is more than the average American salary in this country yeah. in the world in a year. So yeah. speak up on that because that's an atrocity. <laughs> the cost. The, co- the cost of a single Met Gala ticket exceeds the average American salary by $19,000, if my math is correct. The, 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 the current number, based on the research that I did most recently, is the median is 56000 annually, <laughs> right? So what's a ticket? Seventy five. So that's 19000 right? So mm-hmm. the cost of a Met Gala ticket, one event, one night, is $19,000 more for this one thing than the amount of money that the average person earns for an entire year. <laughs> Let's so if we want to make celebrities speaking up the standard for not being blocked, then they need to stop stop creating an environment where we get to cherry pick when they need to do that because right. that is an atrocity if I've ever heard one. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You got people working their ass off in this country and they can't afford to put a roof over their head. Because of yeah, how no. agree, because of how egregious this economy is, that to me is an atrocity. There, yeah. the eradication of the middle class, the fact yeah. that you're widening the wealth gap because of technology and social media. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. we don't, but 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 that's not an atrocity. But and I get it. I'm not trying to, I like I'm you. not trying to. Yeah, like I'm not trying to compete. Mm-hmm. I'm not trying to put atrocities up next to each other to, right. to, 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 to virtue signal like one atrocity is worse than the other. Mm-hmm. But hey, if that's the standard, then make them speak up on all of it because exactly. that's egregious and that's affecting people here. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. and, and, but we don't care about that. Who cares? Yeah. So that's my thing. Like, stop cherry picking this stuff. But, but, but because that's the standard that you want to create, don't cherry pick it. Otherwise, I say it all goes away. Get rid of the celebrity worship, period. Who gives a shit what they have to say about anything? Because at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Because it'll just be pandering anyway. And, yeah. and and my thing is, y'all want cosmetic change or y'all want real change? So these people only know cosmetic. They fake their way all the way to the top. So the only thing they're going to do is just fake their way to a GoFundMe. And you're going to find out some years later that that GoFundMe was actually a money laundering thing for somebody else over here. And then <laughs> all that stuff didn't go to the... Yeah, you're going to hear about that. Paying for so, security, paying yeah, relatives. Yeah, you're going you to hear about it. You know? And so, um, so yeah, we can't, you know, depending on these people, nah, but calling them out and saying uh, stand up for something or you're done, I, I like that. I like that... Uh, requirement and if if things hold much like how the kendrick thing if things hold then there's going to be like a new standard for people that's allowed in and it's by the people not by whoever gave and yeah. if they bring us another corporate shield and they are here whoop de whoop and it's like okay what's your or right, wh- where's your bars yeah. oh whoop de whoop hey man which what are you talking about you don't need to talk about this atrocity but what do you where do you stand bro yeah yeah. And if he, yeah. and if that's like the thing, then I I would rather have that than the Taco Bell, McDonald's, burgers, fries, yeah. Yeah. garbage we were getting before. So yeah. um yeah, I'm in favor for it and I'm with you a thousand percent, man. So this does need to have some standards to it. But um hey, one foot is you know, at least we moving. 
Yeah. So we'll, yeah. we'll see what, we, what it le- uh, leads to, though. Yeah, they they do need to shut the hell up. I can agree with that. They they and and them being shut the hell up, blocking them and unfollowing them. That is a way to make them shut up. That's for no, they, sure. Hey man, they've yeah. been pantering already, bro. People already <laughs> yeah. started. Hey, what y'all want me to say, y'all? I gotta go for me over here. Yeah, they already started. So I was like, damn, that was fast. So let's keep it up, y'all. Yeah, yeah, for real. Mm-hmm. Uh, good stuff, man. Yeah. Uh, so on that note, man, we'll go ahead and close it out. Conscious approach in the books. Shouts out to everybody on the chat. Shouts out to everybody tuning into this or any other video that we publish on the channel. Yeah. As we continue to rock and roll, man, we certainly appreciate the support. Your boy JV wins. That is, of course, Dogon SS. I am on Instagram at JV wins, JVWINS. Conscious approach is also on Instagram at con approach, C O N A P P R O A C H. Uh, leave a comment. Let us know what you think about the videos. Um, and be on the lookout for Conscious Approach wherever you get your podcast. We're going to start uploading the audio feeds. What we want to do is have a substantial enough library so that when we upload, you got content for months. So uh, we're working towards that. We're going to get that up there. Uh, but until the meantime, man, um, go Heat, go Dolphins. We are on the way. Uh, Shouts out to everybody who is tuned in. Thank you for the support. Keep on supporting our brand of logical content. And we'll see you on the next video. Yay, yay. And the name is Dogon SS, everybody. And y'all can find me on Instagram at Dogon underscore SS and on Dogon underscore SS on YouTube and on TikTok. Now, I don't post no videos on TikTok just yet. All right. But my comments be going hammer, man. So y'all can see him if y'all follow me, man. So follow me over there, bro. I'll be talking about conflicts and things. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so until next time, everybody. Like I say on every part, don't be too high. Don't be too low. Keep it calm. Keep it chill. Keep it blue. And don't let anybody get you off your pivot. So until the next time, my people, more rings of Robert Ori. We'll catch you on the flip side. Screw, screw. That's right, baby. Y'all think for yourself out there, man. Make your own, do your own research, formulate your own conclusions. Think for yourself. Trust me, it'll take you a long way. For sure, um, for sure. But yeah, we are out of there. That'll do it for tonight's stream. We'll see, we'll see y'all later. Catch you on the flip side. Peace. Peace. You see it? Go Canes. We coming this year, boy. <laughs> it's scared now. <laughs>